here is Thompson Dam. What are we doing this weekend? We're going camping up near Fulton's Creek. Fulton's Creek. Puppies just turned up, and I'm a sucker for puppies. <laughs> site that we want to try and get to and see if it if no one else is there is down this hill it's a pretty steep track and it goes down to the riverbed right beside the river so i'm going to put the drone up have a cheeky look down there and see if anyone's hanging about <laughs> So we're going to drop into Fulton's Creek track now and head down to the campsite and start setting up. So we got so busy chilling around the campfire that I forgot to show you guys where we ended up setting up. So there's two spots down here on Fulton's Creek track and one of them is around the corner, around there. If you keep going around the bend of the river, there's another spot around the corner. It's not bad, it's a bit of a bigger spot, but it's not as soft, there's a bit more, it's like more of a stony surface instead of like the soft crushed rock up the top there where it's good. It doesn't matter for us in the trailer. I mean, we're off the ground, we've got airbags so we can level ourselves out anywhere. It's awesome, we're comfortable with the inner spring mattress no matter what, but Lockie's using our swag. So he's in the XTM swag and a good soft surface or level surface especially makes all the difference. There's a few deep spots in the water here as well, so it'll be good for a swim tomorrow. Hopefully the sun's out and we can get in for a bit of a dip. Missed a chance today. We got so busy setting up the fire, setting up the campsite, and just honestly just chilling out that we didn't end up doing anything. Amy, our fire specialist, is taking care of a roaring fire. <laughs> Lockie's kicking back. Amy's been a fire bug as per usual. Just drying out some wood around it. It was a little bit damp from where we got it from, but it'll be all right, we'll get it going. We're just gonna perch here for the night, have a feed, have a few lemonades, kick back and relax. Yeah, today is gonna be a bit of adventuring. We're going to go for a drive. We have some maps, which I think have some old mine site locations on them. We're not sure if we're going to be able to find them, if they're even close enough by to do it as a day trip. We love coming out camping is a bit of our reset, you know, so get away from it all and whatever we do, we enjoy ourselves, whether it's doing nothing at all or if we go out and have a bit of an adventure. Time to cook some brekkie, have a couple of coffees and get this day started. So what's on the menu this morning, Ames? We have bacon, eggs, yes. toast, avocado, tomato. Probably the best 
Camp Sanger. That's a lot of bacon. You never had too much bacon, Lockie. The bacon man. Just cooking me bacon. In the middle, I guess. Oh god. Come on. <laughs> Did it hit straight away? Yeah, straight away. Instant. You gotta I'll do walk it. In. It's, it's I'll walk in, I won't jump, jump in. in. man, it is so good. Oh, don't you dare. No. <laughs> oh, 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 We got to the end of that track, came down to the bottom. There was three ways to go, straight, left, and right. We've gone left, come to a dead end. The water is literally just down there. So we're gonna walk down through here maybe and see if we can find anything down the bottom of this track. So watch out, it might be slippery. <laughs> it's getting me. Get off my leg. <laughs> no means no. <laughs> well, it's no mine site, but it's still a pretty cool spot. So after a little bit of exploring, we have decided that it leads nowhere. Nowhere that we want to go to. Bit of a dead end there. Can't really get through the bush easily, so we're going to head back to the car and keep trying to drive to find the hut, which is a little bit less adventurous, but still cool. Lockie wanted to keep walking down the river forever. I knew where I was going. Boy, we weren't getting lost. Nice little hut. I mean, it's a new one, obviously, but it's still not a bad spot to say. Not a bad view either. So, Junction Hut is straight up there. Walking track down the bottom leads to this. So, if you're looking for somewhere to stay out at Well Hollow, which has a fire pit and cool views, and this even has a rope swing. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Where are we? So, what's this hut? Junction hut. Junction, yeah. So if I zoom in on the map, like he tried to do earlier. <laughs> like he was literally using the map and tried to zoom in. I was like, in. I'll just zoom into the, like, no. So that's Junction Heart. And then we're thinking if we go down across this river up to Toombin Old Town site, and I don't know what, I mean, here maybe? You see that? I think so, yeah. yeah. Head up to there? Yeah. And then we have to, oh, we're going further away from our campsite if we do that. Yeah. And then we'd have to try and get back onto Well Hollow Road. Alternatively, we can just go along this track, come down here, get onto Pheasant Track and go back up here. Back to camp. Go to camp. What time is it? Three o'clock? Yeah, nearly. <laughs> what have you got? You are juicing everywhere. I have a delicious orange. Mm. It's very juicy. It's very juicy. You want some? Yes, please. You go. Mm. Oh, oh my yes. goodness. So much. <laughs> That's very juicy. We went back to the campsite. So we did end up going up to Toombin Old Town site. We skipped on that. It was getting really late. It was about three o'clock as we were heading up the hill to go that way. 
and we're just like no it's gonna be way too late by the time we get back to camp and it was a good call so we're back here we're cooking up some dinner we're gonna have some steaks some potato chips and a bit of salad tonight it's gonna be absolutely mint we pulled out the grill for the fire giving that a whirl tonight <laughs> such a good spot Lockie's just watching the food <laughs> time to sit back relax and chill by this awesomeness It's way too early to be packing up. Got to go to work. Sun's just starting to come up. That's it. We've officially finished camping. The fire has been put out. Fingers crossed. We can get up through the uh, through the track going out because sometimes it can be a little bit greasy and be a little bit hard to be honest with you so as soon as it gets a bit of water on it it's so damn steep that it just becomes really slippery as we made our way out of the campsite we were stopped dead in our tracks by some campers who had set up right on the track a few heads emerged from the swags and it turns out they were just as surprised to see us as we were them we later found out they hadn't planned to camp here, but after one of the cars and the group had lost their brakes on the steep descent further up the track, they had no choice but to pull up for the night and do some trackside repairs. With some help, we were able to manoeuvre the Navara and the Patriot camper under an awning or two and continue our way up to the big climb. The track was already feeling slippery so we decided to pop the nav into low range and flick on the diff lock just for good measure before tackling this climb. We decided not to waste any time lowering the tyre pressures further and decided instead to spool out the rumble winch to let it do all the hard work from here. So as Joel said, we're, um, we're on our way to work and the last little pinch at the top of Fulton's track is, is pretty steep and greasy and we, we can't get out. Um, so we're just trying to winch out, but uh, Amy and Joel are out there. I've got the foot on the brake, holding the car and the trailer on the hill, and their uh, their shenanigans up the hill are bloody hilarious. You almost slipped. You fell over. Oh, did you yeah. fall for it, <laughs> Yeah. So what's going on, mate? Uh, we got uh, a little bit slippery up Fulton's track, so we're getting the winch out, and um, we're gonna we're gonna try and winch out of here and get to work on Tom. The Rumba 11 XP had absolutely no dramas pulling us up the rest of the way of Fulton's track. We probably could have had a crack at dropping our tyre pressures lower and even picking a new line, but using the winch in this scenario saves time and potentially unnecessary wear and tear on the vehicle's drivetrain. So we opted for it this time and it's worked an absolute treat, got us out of a sticky situation and now we can head on home. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Got oh, cold fingers, fingers, babe. My fingers are so frozen. And I hit this one with a hammer the other day, so now it's like extra sore. That's so good. Are you gonna survive? I'm finally defrosting. <laughs> it's so cold. It's so freaking cold. Good winching, guys. Thanks. Thanks for all the help. <laughs> 